Hello crypto fan thanks for tuning back to my channel in today's video we will discuss nft licensing and copyright laws surrounding it have you ever wondered do you also get the underlying copyright ownership as well when you purchase the nft and the answer is usually no unless explicit transfer of copyright ownership is granted we will also discuss how when if you are the owner of an nft and have purchased it for hefty amount you still could be legally liable for infringement action by the copyright owners even if you put the purchased nft as a profile pic crazy right yes it is we will also discuss how certain nft creators are going cc0 license route and why this is a good move from nft creators ensuring they transfer explicit copyright ownership to nft purchasers and how this can actually popularize that original nft so grab a cup of tea as we are getting started now i'm going to pull up this article from medium i'm also going to give you the link in the description so be sure to check it out now there are two ways that nft can be attached to a creative works number one is you can control the physical copy of the underlying nft and number two is you actually get to control its copyright basically who decides and gets to make the new copy of the work now if we talk specifically about us copyright law it can actually include anything that you can reproduce via your machine or devices as well which means every computer that interact with the work makes a separate copy for copyright purposes even just browsing to a web page makes a copy of the image on it on your computer thus for all the practical purposes any nft that includes digital artwork must include some copyright interest or the owner of the nft will become an infringer the moment they attempt to do anything with the artwork in particular it is not sufficient to just give the nft purchaser a copy of the artwork the nft creator has to ensure that they are also specifically transferring the copyright laws so us copyright law explicitly states that transfer of copyrights and the transfer of copies are different let's say as an example you purchase a painting of a mona lisa you can use that painting to display in your house but you can never use that painting for any commercial purposes let's say to make copies of it and sell to other people because the underlying copyright ownership is still held by the original creator of that painting so it is very important for you whenever you are buying any nft you ensure that the underlying copyright is also transferred to you what are you supposed to do within the limits of that copyright many of the nft creators do not pay attention to this and this can actually cause legal trouble in future for you now let's talk about few nft projects where they have actually gotten into legal trouble because of not being clear on what the copyright laws they hold so there was an example of a spice tower the project bought and tokenized ownership of one physical copy of jodor vaskis pitch book the owners of spice token can collectively decide to sell or lend it to others or put it in public display offline but they never had and couldn't tokenize ownership of the copyright in the underlying creative work the copyright in dune the novel is still held by frank herbert estate so in this case people who bought the physical copy of jodorowsky's pitch book thought that they also got the underlying copyright and they can actually fling a version out of it but in actual the copyright in the artwork was still held by the original artist and their estate and that has caused some legal trouble for spice tower similarly the most famous nft project of all time the crypto pump where all these nft mania started was also sadly not released with any explicit copyright terms this is legally risky for all the people who have purchased this nft for higher crazy prices let's see what actually could happen and how the people who are actually held the ownership of crypto pump can actually be legally sued so let's take an example it's an extreme example but let's discuss it and adversary could approach the nft creator buy out the copyright to the artwork and then sue nft purchasers for infringement if they put the images in their profile pictures on open sea listing etc now this is the reason we are actually buying this nft in first place but since there is no explicit copyright terms it is possible that somebody else approached the creators of crypto punk and they can actually buy the copyright laws and then they can sue all the nft purchasers so this is usually not the intent of creators and purchasers but this can actually happen there is one more downside is that nft creators can actually use some popular artworks which is stolen from artist or in general famous works that they don't have the license from and they can actually falsely advertise it that nft owners will receive rights in those stolen works if they purchase it 
and because copyright infringement is strict liability nft owners who make copies of stolen art could also be liable for infringement even if they were misled by the nft creator into thinking that it was properly licensed so you have to be very careful whenever you are buying an nft you have to do a due diligence whether this is a stolen art or this is based off of any popular famous artwork that might have a copyright associated with it like marvel dc movie characters and all etc now one more myth in nfts is that if you mint an nft it helps enforce copyright against infringers but copyright comes from copyright law not from blockchain so you have to keep that in mind at least today in the world we live in this is how it is used to be and if you want to attach a copyright you have to explicitly provide it to the nft purchasers and not assume that only via minting they are going to get all these copyrights automatically now let's discuss why copyright transfers are hard for example let's look at this terms and conditions from board a pr club nft now it says you own the nft each board ape is an nft on ethereum blockchain when you purchase an nft you own the underlying board ape completely let's take an example let's say there is a hypothetical woodchuck labs that uses the same terms and condition when elise buys a woodchucker nft she acquires the copyright when she sells the nft to bob he acquires the copyright uh, not so easy copyrights doesn't work this way it actually mandates that you have an agreement a written agreement by the owner when the nft is being transferred so the problem of signing is okay you can do it with digital signatures even if you click i agree on a website you sign these conditions so it's okay when someone purchases an nft from woodchuck labs they can click i agree and they get the ownership of and the copyright of that nft at least now resells it to bob now there is no signed transfer of copyright from Alice to Bob. Bob might try to argue that Alice has agreed to BAYC terms which make him the copyright owner but Alice hasn't. As far as she's concerned the BAYC terms are just bunch of words on a website somewhere. The copyright system wasn't created with digital tokens in mind and doesn't know about them right. These copyright laws were created long back they are not specific to digital token it's not clear what this means. As far as it's concerned. Alice owns the woodchucker copyright and hasn't done anything to give up the ownership. Now let's see how we can mitigate this. Now a way to mitigate is to use copyright licenses. Now woodchuck labs can actually transfer copyright ownership every time there is a resell or the sell of NFTs. As you can see, if Alice buys it from woodchuck labs, she gets a copyright. If she resells it to Bob, Bob gets a new copyright from the woodchuck labs. And then you Bob sells this to Carol. Carol also gets the copyright transferred from Woodcheck Labs. Now it might look a little bit more complicated because now the creator must deal directly with every NFT owner rather than just with the first owner. But it has substantial advantage which is that the copyright licenses don't need to be signed the way the copyright transfers do. Carol and Woodcheck Labs don't need to rely on Alice and Bob to get the signed transfers right. Instead, Woodcheck Labs can simply write its term so that it can directly give a license to every NFT owner automatically as soon as they acquire the NFT. So there are some great examples of it which you can go and read on this article. Now there is one more subtle intricacy involved when you create a derivative of a NFT project. Let's say Alice owns the copyright of Woodcheck Labs and she gives firm the permission to actually make videos or any other content based on that copyright. Now what happens when Alice transfers this NFT and copyrights to Bob? Now Alice no longer holds the copyright. What about the videos and the copyright that is associated with Fern? Alice no longer have this copyright and what will happen to Fern? Now usually in legal terms, a copyright for Fern will also cease to exist because now the owner from which it bought the copyright also doesn't have that copyright ownership but in practical it would look very bad because that's not the intent of Elise neither the intent of Fern but according to these copyrights Fern should actually stop using all that copyrighted material right away. So these are like tricky vulnerabilities when copyright is associated with NFTs and as we are evolving we need to make sure this actually the NFT creators need to make sure that they are actually thinking about it when they are designing the NFTs and they are launching it. Let's discuss why many projects are going CC0 license route. Let's first talk about what is CC0 license. So it's Creative Commons Zero License, a rights waiving tool released by Creative Commons non-profit organization in 2009. Their creators can say knowingly opt for no rights reserved 
This allows anyone to make derivative works and profit from those NFTs without fear of legal consequences. So anybody can actually make derivative out of it and there won't be any legal consequences. So in this case, NFT creators are actually saying no rights reserved. Anybody can use it for commercial purpose, etc. Now the use of CC0 for NFTs was popularized by the Nons project and you can actually check out this. This is a very popular project. Now many other projects have also followed it. A commonplace anonymized split map cryptos was very popular etc and etc and the popular artist x copy has also released its iconic right click and save as guy under the cc0 license and on the right side you can actually see how many derivatives have been created out of this work so why release your nft as a cc0 license since you don't hold any exclusive rights now for any commercial purposes so one reason is simply doing it for the culture because as you know crypto stands for open sharing and building community so this is the philosophy of crypto and crypto companies nfts that are created on blockchain second thing is it invites the creation of derivative work and as new derivatives are created and shared attention can flow back towards the original strengthening its place in the collective consciousness so it can actually since new derivatives are now getting created it can actually make the original nft much more popular it can have this platform network effects and now everybody sees this additional nft as valuable even artists get popular who have created this nft and this is just like a flywheel effect where it just makes everything creative and it just brings more more and more attention to the original work so that's why cc0 licenses are also used by nft creators which is a very good thing so that is it for this video folks hope you all enjoyed this video hope you understood what are the nft copyright vulnerabilities and hope you will do your due diligence before buying any nft and you will also try to check its copyright it is usually present in the description section of the nft so be sure to check it out and if you have any suggestions for new video leave them below in the comments and if you have any doubts leave them below in the comments subscribe to my channel like this video and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye